Hi all, I just wanted to explain briefly how to fill out your livestock entry form. We are just, I'm just going to use the beef form as an example. All of the other forms are very similar, just with different species information. So you'll notice on this form, one thing that's been added this year is this spot for YQCA number. This is used for the quality care of animals and is required for all 4-H members who are planning on exhibiting at the state fair. So when you register on May 15th, this, this number that you get for completing the training needs to be on these forms. Now, when you are filling this out, you're going to use your state fair book. I pulled it up here online and um, fill in each of these columns. So your breed, your class, your class is your four digit number. Um, make sure that you have all four digits there. Type of animal, your ear tag number, and remember, if you are, when you turn this form in, you also need to turn in the livestock identification form, which looks like this. Now, this form will have you put your tag on here as well. It is required on both forms. And remember with this livestock ID form, you also need to have three pictures of yourself or of your animal with a 4-H youth at with you as the 4-H youth included in at least one of these photos. That is noted here on the bottom. If you have questions about those photos, please let us at the office know. If your animal has a tattoo number, put that here. Registration number, if, if applicable. Your birth date of animal. Now make sure you're putting the right date here. Um, in the past, we've had some confusion with the date of the animal not meshed matching up with the type of animal. So make sure that you have the right date. Will this animal be entered in open class? Now this is if you are taking your animal to the state fair. If you plan on entering in an open class, please note here on the bottom, you must complete the online registration or the paper form registration in the open class book. That is the responsibility of you um, here at the office. We do not fill that out. And then if you are planning on taking your animal to the state fair. At the bottom, you'll notice the member needs to sign, the leader needs to sign, and the parent needs to sign. As always, if you have any questions, please let us here at the office know or feel free to stop by on Forms Night, which is May 14th, with any questions you may have or to turn your paperwork in. Have a great day, everyone.